All right, well, for a closer look now at President Trump's fast and furious first few weeks in office, Bay Area Republican John DeBacaro joins me now. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's start, first of all, uh, Tom, with the president's big announcement coming up at the top of the hour. He is expected to nominate one of two judges to the Supreme Court. I want to show you now the two gentlemen that we believe are top candidates. That's Neil Gorsuch or Thomas Hardiman. So as a Republican here in the Bay Area, do you have a preference? Well, these, neither one of these are actually too conservative. They're just to the left of what, let's say, a Mike Lee or a Ted Cruz. So either one of these, I think, should be acceptable. They, just, they both got approved 95 to nothing in their appellate, including Feinstein voting for them. I think either's a good choice. Uh, I think Hardiman's a safer choice, although the other uh, spoken favor or has written about the possibility of assisted suicide. So I don't think either of these are too conservative, and I think either one should be approved. Uh, but Democrats vowing for a fight. Yeah, do you remember when President Bush came in to office, they filibustered 28 appellate court justices and never gave them a hearing. Uh, I expect them to do the same. This is the way politics is in the divided era. One side does it, the other side does it, mm -hmm. and I think it'll keep up this way. Okay, let's talk a little bit about uh, the executive orders. Uh, a lot has happened since you were on last time, and it seems as though uh, President Trump is getting some opposition from both sides. Does that concern you? Well, there's two ways to go about taking over a troubled organization, and we have one in the, in the U.S. government. You either pick a consensus issue and move it slowly and try and bring people together, or you do what Trump's doing, mm -hmm. which is go full force, keep all your promises. Here, there's a shocker, a politician doing what he said, and move so quickly that they can't catch up with you, that they're fighting the last fight that you've already gone by. He's obviously doing that. You know, the Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir said, if you're going to do tough stuff, do it all at once and in the beginning and then enjoy the fruits later while you get hammered in the beginning. Trump's obviously following her advice. I think his policies in the end are actually only adversely affecting a very small group of people now, but they will benefit a huge the America in the long run. Yeah, but Todd, we are seeing a, a lot of protests, especially over the travel ban. And even some Republicans have come out and said it was not implemented correctly. Uh, your thoughts on that? It could have been perhaps implemented better, mm -hmm. but keep in mind two weeks ago, President Obama banned really uh, refugees from Cuba, the people who really we should be caring about. So I think it's overblown at this point, and I think in a couple of weeks, this will be forgotten, and the Supreme Court nominee is gonna dominate the news, uh, as well as the tax proposal he comes out with and other things. He's gonna move so quickly on so many items that the Democrats are gonna be divided, and not know where they should be shooting at, but they will be shooting. But you do bring up a good point because, you know, for, for a while there we were talking about the border wall. We were talking about the Keystone uh, Pipeline, sanctuary cities. We haven't had those discussions in the last few days because it's all been dominated by the travel ban, now the U.S. Supreme Court. And you say that's part of the strategy. It is. He wants to move on a lot of fronts. There's, a, you know, there's a lot of things that can be fixed to improve America. But look, there's only 192 people that were truly affected by that travel. There were 300,000 plus travelers last week and 192, I think, were the number that was really affected by it. You've got to remember the San Bernardino killer just gave a fake address to get in the country. Our system isn't good. There are dead people in San Bernardino because our system isn't good. We should pause and not get hysterical about a, quote, travel ban and care about the people that are here. Some, though, argue that there is proper vetting and that what happened in San Bernardino and other places w was from people that were actually here in America already. Uh, well, that, that is to be continued, that discussion is. Um, but do you, this is my final question, do you believe that President Trump is going to slow down? Do you no. think that he's going to take a pause? No. No, he's got big ticket items. He hasn't even done a big ticket item yet. What about Obamacare? Border wall isn't a big ticket item? No, the Democrats, 34 of them approved that in, uh, in 2006. In fact, his executive uh, order on the wall is based on legislation that Democrats approved in 2006 along with a lot of Republicans. The big ticket items, tax reform, health care, and, and the Supreme Court nominee, those, those haven't even started. Yeah. So put your seatbelt on. We've got a while to go. All right, Tom DeBacaro, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for giving us the Republican perspective uh, once again today. Ted?